This is Edith, educational technologist at Oregon Tech, and in this video, I want to go over the um, Smart Cap IQ um, application. Um, this is the board you'll normally see when you first come in. I want you to just be aware there is an app available. It is available both in Google um, Store as well as the Apple Store. Um, if you come to a board like this, you can just tap on it. It'll just um, turn into a whiteboard. So this QR code allows for you and for students to download the notes that you write on the whiteboard. Now this is only good on the whiteboard side if you're connected to the computer side where you're duplicating or extending on the computer. Um, this will not work. So I've already downloaded the QR code and um, I will show it to you on my phone in one second here. So you can see right here, this is the QR, uh, the smart cap. So if I were to click on that, I get a little QR code reader. I come over here and I can oops, scan it. Um, it doesn't really take much. And my phone will say it's connecting. And you'll see it connected there as well. So that turns into a green little symbol, as you can see. Um, I just want to point that out because if you have some student that is, you know, comes in early and scans it and, and you know, things start happening. Um, you can tell somebody's connected. You can actually click on this and click disconnect, but I'm not going to do that right at the moment. So I'm going to go ahead and write the, the app up here. So it's the smart cap. And again, it's available on Apple, iOS, and on Google for Android. It, we do not have a, um, this available for computers, but there is a way that you can do that. Um, and I'll go over that in another video because there's more stuff that you can do here. But what I mainly wanted to show you is what it looks like on my cell phone. And the other thing that I can do is, is I can actually click on any of these here and I can actually click a pen and I go ahead and grab a black pen and I can write on here as well. And that's why I kind of want you to be aware that if that little um, corner piece is green, that um, somebody is connected. And you can see I'm connected here as well. I can also move the board, but I just want you to be aware that if you do try moving the board, it actually doesn't move the board up there. This is just so that you can maybe take other notes that you don't want somebody else to see at the time. Um, I can erase as well, like if I were on the whiteboard itself. So this is really good for students who might be um, visually impaired or um, you know you want them to just sit at their seat and not come up to the front of the classroom. Maybe they're shy or it's just not something that needs to go, they need to go up and do. Of course they're going to have to go up to the front of the classroom and um, Q, you know, scan the QR code. But again, something we can talk about a little bit later. Also on your phone, you can see that I have I'm done. So if I hit I'm done, it just gives me back to here. I can also disconnect. But this is really what I wanted to kind of point out to everybody. Let's see if I can get this in here. So you can actually share it as a um, image, as a PDF. You can upload it to Evernote or your Google Drive. So if I was to share it as a PDF, I can go ahead and click on that and I get all of these options. Now this is my phone, you might have different options. So you can actually save it to your OneDrive if you have that saved onto your phone. Um, you can email it to yourself. You can see I have three di or two different emails. You can also, um, again, there's the Google Drive. So you have different options that you can play with this. Um, so for this, I'm gonna go ahead and do an Outlook. And you can see it now saves as a PDF. And then I can just put in my information and send it to myself. And that's good for if um, you want to put it up on Blackboard and use, um, you know, bring the notes up on Blackboard. Um, so when I'm all done, um, let's see if I can do this. I can just click on disconnect. I want you to pay attention to that little green space. And I'm going to go ahead and click disconnect. And you see it's red and it'll turn back into the QR code. And that's how you use that. Pretty simple. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, um, want more information, please let me know. edis.warden at oit.edu, extension 51730, and you can always Skype me. Thank you, and have a great day.